Hey y'all, I'm here with a um, swap from Anitra. This was the um, YPP Prim Swap Christmas in July and she was my partner and she did a video and she kind of showed some of her packaging and stuff but she didn't show what was in it so I'm, I'm kind of excited to get into this and all I did was open it and I picked up the card and looked at the card so anyway so here's her card. She decorated the envelope and I think this is the um, Graphic 45 French Country. I don't have any of that but I love that paper. It's beautiful. Beautiful card. Oh, let me read the card real quick. Oh, I know I love it. I love Anitra's stuff. She does beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. And I'll put her um I'll put her link down below to her channel. She's the sleepy stamper, which that's been me here lately. Staying up late. Okay, and here's the bag. And she put some ticking, my favorite, and a felt heart and some raffia and tied it up really cute. Let's open this. <clears throat> Be careful a little bit here. Oh, very cool. Some corks which I have yet to do any of the altered corks, but I really love those. And I think um, for my prim Christmas tree, I want to try to make some, uh, I want to try to make some cork ornaments because I think those will be really cute. Everything I have on that tree is really rustic. And this is a Marion Smith Prima um, vintage trinket birdhouse, which I have like none of this stuff. I just, it's so expensive. Thank you, Anitra. That is beautiful. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever even seen one of those. And then here's a little bag that she put a doily and a yo-yo and a button. Oh, that button is gorgeous. It's like, um, almost like mother of pearl. That is beautiful. I'm so excited. You guys can't tell I'm tired. I stayed up really late last night, so. <clears throat> I'm just, it's starting to catch up with me now. Let's see what all she put in here. Oh, I can see something that I wanted. Let's see. She sent me some of her. These are made out of rickrack. I mean, I'm going to see if I can show you guys one of these up close. I don't know if you can be able to see that. I need to hold it still. The way she kind of rolls the rickrack, they make roses, but they're so pretty. And I... I haven't made any of, the, any of these yet, but they're they're very durable. So I think if you put them on something, they're not going to flatten. You know, they won't be all yucky looking. They're going to hold their shape and still be really, really pretty. Thank you, Anitra. I love those. I love seeing your video for those. They're just, they're so pretty. Um, let's see. Oh, she sent me some washi. One of the, um, we had filled out a questionnaire. Um, of stuff that you know that we might tell our partner that we might not have that we'd like and we, her and I both put washi tape on ours because I have like no washi tape and I've seen some really cute ideas um, using the washi so of course now I want some washi but those are really really pretty colors and she asked me if I wanted prim or if I wanted um, uh, regular colors and I wanted regular like kind of bright colors so that's perfect. This one could probably actually be print if I brushed it with a little bit of um, vintage, but that is awesome. Thank you, Anitra. Oh, and here's another one. Bicycles. That's really cute. I love that. And then here's a card with a really cool rusted snowflake and some really, really pretty seam binding. Let's see if I can slide this off. <clears throat> there we go. And I love all these. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Anitra. This was one of the other things that I said I really, really wanted was the honeycomb. Oh my goodness. I love this. I can't wait to use it. I have wanted this for so long. It's a honeycomb embossing folder. I love my embossing folders, y'all. I try to use them. I get out projects and I think, how can I use my embossing folders? Because I just think they're so cool. And then look at these. These she made, and they are star ornaments. Let me see if I can get one of these out. It's going to make a lot of noise. Let's see. 
and I love this background paper. That might even be that might even be Graphic 45 um, primer and some cinnamon sticks, which I always need cinnamon sticks because I have a little crock full of them on my dining room table. I have one of the step little step tables in the middle. For, I don't know what they're called, but um, my my littlest one climbs up on the table and he takes them down and throws them, and then people walk on them so they get broken. So. I've got a, I always have to, I have a stash of them that I keep in there, but I sent them first before I put them in there. But look at that. It's like a blue gingham star and she put little, uh, she put the little things on there. That'll be so cute. I don't, I have a prim tree, but I don't have very many ornaments on it. It's, it's very sparse. Um, we put it up in the family room, so those will be on there at Christmas, but then I'm probably going to keep these, I'm going to keep those out. I have a big wooden bowl in the family room that's kid friendly so I, I leave it down I have a stack of picnic baskets a graduated stack of picnic baskets and it sits on top of there and um, I'm gonna put those in there after Christmas so thank you Anitra that's very sweet sewing I love to sew but I never sew I have projects that I always say I'm gonna do and I've been saying I'm gonna make our my family Christmas stockings for about 15 years and I have one of them that's partially done and a second one that I started the front of and I never finished it. So, yeah, I'm, I guess I'm not really a sewer. And this is beautiful fabric. Oh, I love that. It's got like little, almost like, this is really cute fabric. Um, like little twigs on it. Look at that with stripes. I love that. And then, of course, the... Ah, oh, the wonderful gingham tissue. I used up the last of it that I had last prim package I sent out so I'll save that and she made me a book of lace I love this everybody's making these book of laces um, that Jeanette did on scrap and happy and it's just so much work I probably would never make one for myself so I really 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 appreciate that she made me this this is so pretty look at that and it's just the most beautiful colors look at that this flower is gorgeous Look at that. Wow. I'm impressed. Oh. And just, oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Crochet lace. Oh, and she's got two different laces on here. My favorite colors. Love, 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 love that. This looks like all vintage. Vintage lace for sure. Oh, and look. Oh my gosh, that would be so cute. All I gotta do is coffee stain it. That is just perfect Americana. Thank you so much, Anitra. I love that. I really do. I just love it. And it's so cute. You hate to even do anything with it. That is wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. And then here, let's show... Let's show the sheeps that she made. Let's see if I can get one of these sheeps out. Let me see if I can figure this out. These are so stinking cute. Look at this. Oh, his little, the other one's little collar came off. But look, they're little sheep. And she looks like she's got a tea stain on here. These are adorable. And these can be bowl fillers too, or I can sit. I've got all kinds of places I can put these little guys. I love this. I don't have anything like this. I have some heart. So I have some hearts, and I have the doll that um, Teresa sent me, and I have a bear in the bathroom. I have like not none of this kind of stuff really. Being that my house is so prim, because I don't sew. I mean, like I said, I have intentions of sewing, and I never do. So those are really cute, and there's four of them. Oh my gosh. And I love this fabric. Oh gosh, it's like it's like a heavyweight homespun. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, Anitra. Oh my goodness, that was so much work. And I know she's got kids and she's really busy too. I appreciate that. And then here's this one. This is really pretty, beautiful green. Uh oh. And this I saw on her video. This is really cool. Gotta save that. Look at this button. Oh my goodness. The button is amazing. Look at that. Holy cow. It's 
like a ginormous button. And the seam binding. Oh gosh, Anitra, if you dyed the seam binding, you gotta tell me what color that is. Because it is beautiful. It's almost like a raisin kind of a color. Okay, and then she altered this um, this can. She said she alcohol inked it, and it matches this paper like absolutely perfect. And the paper matches the book. Let me show the book. Look at that. That is just to die for beautiful. And then she didn't show what was in it, so I'm going to open it. Let's see what's in it. There we go. Get the lid off. <gasps> oh. I'm videoing. Hold on. My daughters are at the movies. They're calling. Look at this. Oh, I love these buttons and these wooden buttons. This is like what's on the front of that book. Oh, my goodness. Those are gorgeous. Some vintage little pearly buttons. Oh, you guys, I love buttons, and I love to use buttons. I hate to hoard them because I love to... Oh, these are, these are fabulous. Whoa, yeah, those are going in the hoard ball for sure. I won't be using those. <laughs> I'll be hold on to those for a while. Look at those. They're wooden and they've got a printed uh, rose. Oh, and there's a thimble. The thimble and some cute little, oh, these are adorable little laser. They're almost like laser cut uh, butterflies, wood butterflies. Oh, and these are wood leaves. Those are beautiful. All kinds. Oh, there's my favorites. Love the torty buttons. Look at these. They're like cat size. Oh my gosh. I love this. I could just sit and look at every single one of these buttons. These are beautiful. And you know what? I have a lot of buttons, you guys, but I don't have any. I have all like pastel pinks, which I like never use pastels, and I have purples. I have like rainbow colors. I don't have the buttons that I actually like that I would use. I mean, I just. I really have to scrimp and scrape to find like more prim type buttons because those are the ones that I love. Those are the ones I always want to use. Oh, I love that one. I love these. I have almost none like natural. Um, I have some clear. These are gorgeous and browns. I have like no brown. That's beautiful. Thank you so, so, so much, Anitra. I know all the packaging and everything is, it's, it's a lot of work. Um, I really appreciate that and just so thoughtful. Well, that was it guys. And, um, I love my swap. I love what you made. You could not have done a better job. Um, I'm totally, totally thrilled and, um, hopefully you'll like yours too. Thanks for watching y'all.